John Walker Lind, Jose Padilla, Richard Reed, Umar Farouk Abdul Mutalab. All were tried in the U.S., all were found guilty, all were sentenced to prison. The Attorney General says the debate over how to best seek justice in these cases is quiet put to rest. Is he right? Are Americans ready to see a steady stream of these accused take advantage of the protections and guarantees offered by American courts? Joining us on Inside Story for that discussion are Karen Greenberg, the director of the National Center on National, excuse me, director of the Center on National Security Law at Fordham Law School in New York, and in Washington, Colonel Morris Davis, from 2005 to 2007, the chief prosecutor of the Guantanamo Bay military trials. Karen Greenberg, let me start with you. How's it been working in recent years, those cases that actually have been tried stateside in the federal court system? These trials have gone forward without much problem. There have been a number of difficult issues, including uh, treatment in custody and classified evidence that have stopped the uh, trials and halted them from time to time, but not in a way that was definitive. They've gone forward. Juries feel satisfied. Judges feel satisfied. Prosecutors and defense attorneys play their role to the, to the best that they can. There's no reason these trials can't be held uh, in federal courts. And the uh, trial of Abu Hamza al-Masri is just one more example of how a trial begins. The defendant gets to plead his case, the prosecution tells their side of the story, and the jury makes their, get, delivers their verdict. Now, you mentioned treatment in custody and evidence, and we can't just quickly sweep by those two things. They're two very big considerations when we're talking about these cases, aren't they? These men, if they would come to trial in the United States, have a history. They've been held in some cases by the United States for more than a dozen years. Right, and it's not just the amount of time they've been held and the speedy trial issue, but it's, it's the issue of both how they've been treated and what they may have said while being uh, subject to enhanced interrogation techniques, or it's what evidence might be used against them that was obtained from others who were subjected to enhanced interrogation techniques. And even in these cases, sometimes the issue of Guantanamo, Guantanamo potential witnesses, potential witnesses from Guantanamo, even in the domestic cases, these come up. The, it, it is a problem, and uh, you know my feeling, and I'd, I'd love to hear Colonel Davis on this, is just how much this is the reason that we keep having these trials, allegedly, or trying to have these trials at Guantanamo. Is it really uh, a problem of the nature of the evidence and how it was obtained, as opposed to classified national security issues? Well, let me turn.